Hey fam, so for those of you guys that don't know, last night around 11 p.m., 12 a.m., I don't know, Spirit just started speaking and moving and I was so exhausted at that point that I just allowed myself to receive the messages. I wrote them down all in my notebook and I'm here sharing them with you guys right now, breaking them up into certain sections. So feel free to listen to this message clearly because you're here or listen to the other ones that were also shared. Maybe they all resonate with you, maybe not, but either way, they're here for you. So one of the things that spirit showed me last night was this idea or this spirit of returning back to quality time. This was specifically about relationships, the quality of the time that you spend within your relationships. Now I wrote down I can't tell if this is with God, yourself, your partner, but it feels very, very valuable and precious and you are to not neglect this relationship. God or the divine wants you to disconnect from your phones, outside influences and distractions and really listen in and connect, right? And then also it showed me the dragonfly, spirit showed me the dragonfly symbolism again, which if you guys don't know, I just talked about that in one of my other videos about um, kind of completing out this chapter and this task. I can link it down below, but it's they're showing me this the dragonfly dropping and skimming the surface with this connection. So dragonflies as an animal totem and, and dragonflies in the spiritual realm are not something that are bad or good. It just is what it is. But spirit is showing me the problem in the dragonfly kind of touching in and touching out and going in and out of the relationship or going in and out. Um, like coming in and soop, zipping off and kind of like not going back to what it is that it originally touched. If you guys think about a dragonfly kind of tapping on the water surface, imagine trying to retrace those spots in those in the exact way that it did the first time. So spirit is showing me that that has become a problem or they don't want it to advance into a problem, especially when it comes to your relationships. Now, as I said, I can't tell if this is, if spirit is referring to your relationship with God or your relationship with your higher self or the divine, um, which would make sense. Or if this is your relationship with yourself or your relationship with an actual partner. But either way, whatever this is and apply it how it resonates and apply it to your life, if it fits, use your discernment. But it's this coming in and going out type of energy that is ca causing a problem because it's starting to make faulty connection and it's starting to push out intimacy, deeper intimacy within the, fi the very fiber of this relationship. Now this feels like a very quick fix, but um, which, which means that all you'd have to do is just literally put your phone away, speak, like speak to your partner, speak to the divine and have it uninterrupted or don't start your day with the first thing that you do is looking on your phone or before you kiss your partner or greet the divine and thank spirit for your life, the breath that you're taking at the first thing that you, or let's say you're having, um, you haven't seen your friends in forever, call them, have a conversation, family. There's people that are being neglected. There's something about the value, this, the sheer, the sheer volume and value of, your most intimate relationships, and it's like one in particular. You'll know because it'll be the first thing that comes into your mind and your spirit. Um, it could also be the quality time that you take for yourself. For some of you guys, you've been so, lately you've been on this rat race, so you might be like eating on the go and eating on the run and not really taking the time out to just kind of be with yourself. And it's starting to break away at the very fiber of your relationship and how you feel about yourself and how, how you feel about the world because you're just rushing through this connection. You're rushing through this moment. And spirit says, this, this, these, this is a very, 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 very valuable. This is, if it's not very, very valuable to you and you're not showing it, it's very, very valuable to spirit, the divine. And they want you to see and to know that this is something that we do not want to see break down. So take the time out to really return back to quality time it doesn't have to be anything loud or obnoxious. You don't have to book a trip to the opposite side of the world in order for you to connect with God or to connect with yourself or to connect with your partner. If you want to, do it. Or if you're called to do it, by all means, do it. This is just something very simple as take turning your phone off, going into your sacred space, or 
sitting outside with your partner in the park and just connecting and talking with them, manifesting this quality time, manifesting this quality connection. And instead of skimming the surface of this connection, really diving in. And as I'm saying that, a butterfly, a monarch butterfly just fluttered by my window and went on. So I hope this message resonates. Um, Spirit is saying that this, these uh, deeper connections are very, very valuable, at least in the divine's eyes. For you right now, money, all those other things can wait. This connection though, put it number one. All right, I hope this message resonates. Please make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel. I want to invite you to subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll say, see you in my next video. Bye.